tell a difference on Saturday because of that extra one? Uh, yeah, I feel like we've made a lot of plays together, and you know it's just something to keep building on. Now that you've got that first touchdown of the season, do you feel like you've kind of got that off your back and you can relax a little bit? Uh, yeah, I scored the week one too, so oh, um, yeah. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> you scored an SEC game now. Yeah, I just feel like you know just scoring a touchdown doesn't really make who I am. I just feel like uh, we're four zero, so it doesn't really matter if I go score it. We're four zero. How big being a Kentucky kid? You were around this game a lot. This game definitely means a lot to people um, who grew up watching Kentucky lose this game. So what would it mean to, to be able to get a win and a third straight win in this series? I'm undefeated against Florida, so I don't really I don't really pay attention to what it used to be. I'm I'm on the team now, and there's a lot of other guys on this team now. So we're going out there uh, with the mindset of um, we can play in this game, and it don't matter what what happened in years past. It's 2023. Dan, what can this offense be if you all put all the, the potential you've shown together? Um, I feel like this offense can be really explosive, and I feel like we've shown it. Um, you know, we haven't played a full game as, as an offense, but, you know, the defense has really gone out there. Uh, Max Harrison, he's went out there. He's, he scored two touchdowns for us last week. So, you know, just building on that and, you know, playing a full game on offense uh, will really will be really explosive. Hey, Liam said that you guys have to be prepared for a physical approach. Mm -hmm. and their guys have, how have you gone about in practice? Like, your defenders kind of try to get their hands on you? And uh, no, I just feel like we're going to uh, take this week the same. We will take any other week, just go out there um, and prepare the right prepare the right way with proper preparation. And, you know, that will help us on Saturday. After what you did last year down there, do you feel like you're getting a little extra attention from their defense this year? Um, I hope I do because it doesn't, like like I, I told, said, told somebody earlier, I'm just, uh, we're just going to go out there and uh, play Kentucky football. And if they try to, uh, lean on me, then I know there'll be other playmakers, Jatine, uh, Ray Davis, Brian Brown, Tavion, anybody in that, anybody in this offense will go out there and make a play if they try to double down on me. Coach Deuce has talked about that a few times, that it might be a different guy each week. Yeah. He's getting a lot of passes. How much do you all talk about that amongst yourself, kind of remind yourselves of that? Um, you know, we, we, we kind of knew it going into the season. If they try to, you know, uh, I in on one person, then the next person will go out there and make a play. Like we could care less about who's scoring the touchdowns or who's getting the yards. If we're four and zero at the end of the day, we're winning. We're a winning football team. When you were growing up, as you know, Kentucky had trouble in yep. Florida. That started to change, I guess, when you were in high school. Mm -hmm. So what is the feeling now about going up against them? I know it's a brand name, but you guys have played with them over the last few years. Yeah, um, I said we we're really just going out there and playing Kentucky football. Um, the new Kentucky football, I know a lot of people in the past might not think it's the, what we are now, but we don't really care what people used to think back in the day or a couple of years ago. Um, it's a new team, and we're going to go out there and just prove that we belong in this stage and we know how to play football. Everybody good? Thank you.